to leave this town Cause lately I've been feeling down The cold nights just don't feel the same Oh, 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 oh. Back my life inside a car Hit the button, drive real far But that wreck could only die Oh, 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 oh. Hey guys! welcome back to the channel in today's video I would like to show you how to add a temperature sensor to your motor and this is applicable to the QS 3000 watt mid drive motor but it might work for any other motor so the things you need are you need a temperature um, readout temperature sensor readout and you need a thermistor or a temperature um, resistor and you also need some um, terminal connectors and you need the original bolt that came with the motor mount as you can see this is my original mount that came with the QS 3000 watt motor and um, I took it off because I have no need for this and I'm gonna install a temperature sensor in one of the holes where the original bolt goes in so that way I can read out the temperature of my motor to make sure I don't um, fry my motor or overheat my motor as you can see this doesn't go in so the next step is to widen the hole drill the hole make it wider and um, that's what i'm gonna do next so that way we can have the bolt go all the way through and that way we can be able to bolt this terminal to the motor As you can see, the bolt goes in freely now. So the next step is to remove this insulation and put the thermistor in this, crimp it down then bolt it to the motor the hole in this terminal seems to be undersized so what we're gonna do we're gonna put in like a needle nose plier to spread this once we spread it we should have enough room to push this in as you can see just the tip goes in but the only thing left is to give it a little bit of room so that way we can push this thermistor inside or temperature sensor inside and we can crimp it down then we should be good to go okay I think that might be good enough. It's almost there. You just gotta spread it a little bit more and we should be good to go. Okay, now I was able to spread it just enough for this to go in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crimp it down, then um, that should be it with the um, thermistor or the temperature sensor um, installation on the terminal.
okay this is what it looks like now now everything is nice and tight so I'm gonna connect a, um, a power to the display so that way we can test it out and see if it works the next step is to measure the temperature sensor to see if it works so I'm going to use the lighter and um, try to apply some heat to the terminals directly onto the terminals to see if the temperature on the gauge changes it's kind of hard but I'm gonna as you can see it's changing This might not be the most accurate way to, um, you know, do a test, but I think it passes my test. In case you guys wanted to know, this is where my temperature sensor is going to be installed. It's gonna, it's gonna be bolted on right here, and um, it should read the temperature of the motor. It might not be the most accurate way to do it, but it should help to prevent the motor from frying i hope you guys like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one